Good evening, I'm Orson Welles, your host for the Russian Dance Festival. You've just seen a few highlights from this exciting show that's been thrilling. American audiences from coast to coast playing always to standing ovations. And no wonder, from the 15 republics of the Soviet Union, with their more than 180 different national groups, that master showman Igor Moseyev has brought us folk music that inspired composers from Beethoven to Bernstein. Dance you can see in Swan Lake or West Side Story. Sensational acts that would headline any variety show in the world, a comedy that ranks with that of the greatest of the great clowns. All from this star-studded cast appearing together tonight for the very first time on American television. our company of talented performers. In a moment, the show. I'm home, I think. Did you have a good day? No, terrible. That's nice. Remember, tonight's bowling. Oh, my. Walter Hampton has to bring himself back to life. Fortunately, he's about to discover new Coast deodorant soap, the eye-opener. New Coast deodorant, exhilarating scent, and combine to tingle your senses. It makes you feel more than clean. It actually brings refreshing coast. Have you seen my bowling ball? Oh, I forgot the kids are using it as a cannonball. Oh, I feel too great not to be great. Oh, my cantaloupe. Bring yourself back to life. New Coast deodorant soap, the eye opener. In America, when we say Georgia, we think of those calm, tranquil Southerners. But the Georgians, who live in the Caucasian mountains of Russia, have always been hard-fighting, hard-riding men, as you'll see now in their famous sword dance. And if you think those aren't real swords they're using, just listen to the clang of hard steel and watch the sparks fly from those sharp edges.
according to the tradition of this next number, the audience is not supposed to be looking at the dance. The young girl is dancing just for her boyfriend. But once she realizes the audience is looking, I have a feeling she'll dance for everybody. information that wasn't a trash can lid the boy was pounding it's called a bubna an exotic russian hand drum well, in moscow way back in 1911 a tiny group of 18 ambitious singers gave their first concert and they've been giving concerts ever since growing in size and prestige until now there are more than a hundred vocalists dancers and musicians called the pietnitsky folk choir they're going to do for us one of their most popular numbers, Timonia, a gay, colorful dance from the Kursk region, where it's often done by groups of two and three hundred boys and girls.
One of the first things a fruit and cereal lover learns is that when you run out of fruit, you're left with just plain cereal. That's why experienced fruit and cereal lovers eat Post Raisin Bran. You see, Post mixes wholesome bran flakes with so many sweet, chewy raisins, you can get fruit in spoonful after spoonful, right down to the last spoonful. Next time, you'll know to ask for Post Raisin Bran, the fruit and cereal lover's cereal. Get out your July issues of these four magazines and find ten pages of sunshine. It's Sears Settler's Trail collection. Cheerful country American furnishings. Most are on sale now at sunshine prices. Like $1.99 in twin size for these permapress muslin sheets. $8.99 for tough cord bedspreads in any size. And only $379 for this space-saving bed. Take your ten pages of values and hurry to Sears now. We usually think of a shawl as a pretty commonplace piece of clothing, but this round dance, or coravod, will change your mind about that. Here you're going to see colorful shawls creating beautiful, moving patterns. And they can be used in one of my specialties, too, magic. Yes, presto, change your and from behind a shawl appears what never seemed to be there at all. Oh, yes, and you'll find out it's possible for lovely ladies to float about the stage without seemingly moving their feet.
now we come to the most universal of all theatrical forms, the art of Chaplin and Marcel Marceau, pantomime. And here, one of the most humorous, most touching stage moments I think you, you'll ever likely to see. Natalia and Oleg Kiryushkin using the poetry of silence to tell the simple story of a girl, a boy, and a balloon.
checked with our broker, and our broker said it seemed like a good idea. What does your broker say? Oh, well, our broker is E.F. Hutton. And E.F. Hutton says that... Uh, When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. Counselor, when you see one of us by ourselves, I suggest you look real close. A new chapter on Days of Our Lives next week on NBC. <laughs> Comic actor Peter Isaacson is very young and very tall and very accident prone. Now he faces another hazard in his role on CPO Shockey, that human buzzsaw named Don Rickles. Meet Peter Isaacson in this week's TV Guide cover story. The great Sheehy Ford Celeron is going on now. Acres of Fords at sacrifice prices. Granadas from thirty-two seventy-five. Beat the clock. Open till midnight tonight. The great Sheehy Ford Celeron. Water, water everywhere. A WRC television special this Saturday night at seven here on Channel Four. Welcome back to the Russian Dance Festival. For those of you who just joined us, we're enjoying a veritable feast of fine entertainment served to us by the outstanding music and dance groups of the Soviet Union under the guiding hand of Igor Moisiev. And we have more surprises to come. The Ukrainians now are the second largest national group in Russia, and they're going to bring us their most popular dance, the Gopak. This is a kind of challenge where the boys try to outdo each other while showing off to the girls. And keep an eye on the amazing chap who does the Kazatsky.
So that's the way the Russian boys show off to their girls. <laughs> Back when I was a lovesick lad, all we did was pedal past their house on a bicycle shouting, look no hands. Early in the show, we saw how the Georgians are fierce fighters, and now we're going to find out how they can also be graceful and artistic gentlemen. In this, a beautiful bride is led out by two boys. The long sleeves of their costumes cover their hands as a sign of respect for this and all brides. Keep in mind, too, as you watch them dance, sleeping and landing on their toes, that there is no padding in those soft leather boots. My mom showed me how to save money with unsweetened Kool-Aid and sugar. Oh, boy, Kool-Aid! I remember mom saying Kool-Aid was so special because it was inexpensive and it tasted so good. Kool-Aid is still delicious. And today, with my sugar, it's about 12 cents a quart. It has vitamin C, too. I like giving my daughter what my mom gave me. Kool-Aid brand soft drink mix and your sugar. You loved it as a kid, you trust it as a mother. As an apricot grower, I'm mighty particular about apricot-flavored desserts. Well, we found one that's just terrific. New apricot flavor Jell-O brand gelatin. Sweet, but tart like apricots, so I can make lots of new apricot-flavored desserts my family loves. I like it. Mmm, it even smells like apricots. Mommy, yeah. does it grow on trees? No, silly. But it sure tastes like it does. You. New apricot-flavored Jell-O brand gelatin. There's something new in apricot country. The Ukrainians are back with us now, with their famous polzunets. And here we have ten inebriated Cossacks showing off to each other by doing amazing leaps, mid-air twirls of bone-cracking Kozatskis.
During a long career that stretches clear back to my boyhood, I found that the old show business axiom is true. You can't kid something unless it's good. And to kid it, you've got to be good, too. Well, the same is true of music, of course, as we'll discover now from the Komozitsky Chamber Ensemble. They're going to play a well-known Russian melody. They're going to play it rather playfully. And it's called The Dance of the Musician's Right Hand. One thing we've learned tonight is that the Russians aren't just people who live in and around Moscow. <laughs> They're Georgian horsemen, Ukrainian peasants, and would you believe it, Eskimos. It's true. These are rugged people who live way up north on the Kamchatka Peninsula inside the Arctic Circle. And they have their own unique colorful music and dance which we're going to enjoy for the very first time ever in America. Oddly enough, I think you'll notice a striking resemblance to our own rock and roll of the 50s. <laughs> Now once again the Pyatnitsky Folk Choir with their Bryansk games. Winter is over, spring is here, the boys and girls of the village show how happy they are by competing in dances and games. This is what the New York Times called a tremendous, bold and brilliant spectacle. I call it simply great.
to the end of our Russian dance festival. But you know, a festival is really a celebration. I think we've had a lot to celebrate here tonight. The amazing artistry of these marvelous performers, the skill of their directors and choreographers who selected and trained the best talent from the Black Sea to the Arctic Ocean. And most important of all, the friendship and goodwill between our two nations that made all this possible. This is Orson Welles. Good night. Saturday night, Chris Everett and Tony Roche lead opposing sides in the World Team Tennis All-Star match. See giants like Billie Jean King, Bjorn Borg, Virginia Wade, Tom Gorman, Rod Laver, and more live from the San Diego Sports Arena. World Team Tennis, Saturday night at 11.30 Eastern Time on NBC. Stay tuned now for Farewell to Manzanar, next. <laughs>